Welcome back, friends. Lost Guy here, and it's time for the big finale. Here we go. It's the end. The end of it all. The end of the whole game. Here we go. Part 2. Crimson Flower. Great Tree Moon. To the end of a dream. After defeating the Kingdom Army and King Dimitri on the Teltine Plains, Imperial forces set their sights on Ferdiad, the Kingdom capital. The final battle against Rhea draws near. Okay, what does this painting have to do with any of that? What does the painting have to do with any of that? So, we have finally arrived. It has been a very, very long road. Why are you here, Uncle? We haven't prevailed just yet. Even better. I decided I wanted to see the end with my own eyes. The very moment that humans will finally be free from the control of that false beast of a goddess. Understood. Behold to your heart's content. Just don't get in our way. Of course. I could not stand to be dragged into the fighting. When this fight is over, a world completely controlled by the Empire will be upon us. Not completely. I will only do what I must. But until our reign becomes stable... Uncle, no, all of you. I believe that your power and knowledge may be essential during that time of transition. Perhaps so. We also will do what we must. For that short while, we will lend you our strength. Yes. We're counting on you. For now. Professor, may I speak with you? No. Okay. What's on your mind? I know the timing is less than ideal, but there's something I need to tell you. Okay. I imagine you've already sensed it, but even still, I must tell you the truth. Of the power you wield, and of what you are. Wait, you know? I have sensed it too. What are you talking about? Have you still yet to realize it? If so, then it's absolutely vital that I tell you. You, like Rhea, share a bloodline with the so-called goddess. Okay. Your mother likely had some connection to the goddess, whose power has always been sleeping within you. Five years ago, when your power awakened, I was afraid you would choose to join with Rhea. Which I could've. You thought I would join her? I did. As you know, my goal is to free our world from the control of Rhea and the other children of the Goddess. I seek to obliterate her, as well as those around her who use the Church's power to control Fodlan. I swore to free the people from Rhea by striking her down, whether or not it meant making an enemy of you. And yet, you came to my aid and chose to walk with me on the path against Rhea. I was overjoyed, of course. But I was also confused. I thought that perhaps it wasn't the path you were meant to take. But I chose to trust in you, to rely on you and your strength. And now, here we are. <laughs> Please explain it once more. I understand. Thank you for listening, my teacher. I'm glad I finally had the chance to talk to you about it. After Rhea is gone from this world, I don't know what will become of you. But whatever happens, I hope you know that you're very special to me. You are the one person in this world who can share the heavy burden I must carry. Someone without equal, who I can always speak my mind to. It's time. Let's go, Professor. All right. Time for the final of the final battles. This is it. The absolute ending. The Imperial Army arrives in Ferdiad, the Kingdom Capital, only to be confronted by Rhea, who has transformed into the Immaculate One. The Black Eagle Strike Force steals itself for an epic battle, hoping to soon return Fodlan to its people. This is not going to be easy. Gotta fight a dragon. A fight for Ferdiad. Crimson Flower, Chapter 18, To the End of a Dream. Rhea! Members of the Church of Saros, 
Surely there's no need to continue this fight. What could be gained by shutting yourselves inside the capital of a kingdom without a king? I will give you this one chance, and no other. Throw down your weapons and surrender. Unlike you, I have no desire to unleash wicked atrocities upon this world. Their silence speaks volumes. Shall we commence our attack? I'll wait just a moment longer. There are still many residents within the city. Unlike my attack on Garrick Mach five years ago, the Church will not allow the inhabitants to evacuate. What the hell are they planning? Lady Rhea, or rather, Lady Saros, the Imperial Army is calling for our surrender. Is it wise to ignore them? Perhaps we could leave Fodlin and devise another plan. We shall not surrender! We must not lose! Even if it must split the heavens, we shall not yield to the Wicked Ones! Understood. I will do as you command. You have my fealty no matter what, until my last moment of life. I'll stay by your side too, forever. Now, Catherine, set fire to the city. Oh, Jesus. The Imperial Army will burn in the flames of eternal torment. What? No, you can't do that. Catherine, now. As... as you wish. But is there truly no other way? Damn, Sarahs. I have no patience for foolish questions. I shall sacrifice as many lives as it takes. Catherine? That apostate who insists on taking everything from me will be crushed by my own hands. Catherine? You don't see the problem? Catherine! Strong life! <laughs> oh no. That ghastly voice. Your Majesty, there's smoke coming from every corner of the capital. It seems they've set fire to the city. <laughs> They're Dong Zhuo. Damn it, Rhea. There really is no depth you wouldn't sink to. Everyone, we must commence our attack at once. Are you ready? Preparations are complete. Just say the word. Then we attack. We'll head straight for the castle and strike down their leader. Rhea, that vile creature called the Immaculate One. This is the end of our long war. After this victory, Fodlin will finally be united and truly free. The capital we're about to invade is engulfed in flames. Do not rush to your deaths. Survive. Prevail. Do that and we'll witness the birth of a new world. I want to see it with all of you at my side. Understood? Of course. I will not fall and leave you without your protector. But you may live to see your dream come to fruition. For that, I shall survive and prevail. I am carrying the future of Bridget. I will not be dying here. I will be winning for myself and for everyone. I will be surviving. We've been cutting our own path this whole way. There's no stopping until we reach the end. I can't die, or all my great work so far will have been wasted. Don't worry about me, AD. I won't fall before I've found my happily ever after. Maybe when this war is over, I can finally snag a good catch and settle down. Hmm. Somehow we're already here. I wonder if the peace we secure will allow me to research as much as I'd like. If so, let's end this quickly. Edelgard, Professor, I'll do my best for both of you. If I die here, it would be with shame and regret. Oh, I can't let that happen. <laughs> Once the world is united, I will lend my strength to both Edelgard and the Professor. To that end, I will lead us all safely to victory. My pride and duty as a noble demand no less, as do my own principles. <laughs> Let's win this together. Imperial Army, Black Eagle Strike Force, move out. All right, time to roll out. If you're on Rey's team, when she goes dragon, does she go tra transform and roll out? Does she say that? Did she say transform and roll out? Anyone else really think Saros Ray is pretty hot? <laughs> Unfortunately, she's the bad guy here. Oh, you're Palace Battalion's right. How much money I have? All right, units. Twelve. We get to have twelve units. Oh hell yeah! Okay. Whoop whoop whoop. All right. 
Alright. Okay, so I gotta make sure Annette's in here to kill her father. Shamir's in here to kill her wife. I don't care who kills little boy. I'm putting Manuela in this fight. Hells yeah! Oh crap, wait, 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 wait. Hells yeah, Manuela! Okay, let's see here. Who should be in this fight? Let's give Bernie some support. Raphael. Lenhard gets support from his wife. There we go. And who else needs support? No, Shamir's gonna need support because she's gonna kill her wife, so here we go. Alright, that's the team! Oh, I kind of want Ash and Ingrid in this. Oh, okay, this is it. This is it. Okay, save. This is the big finale right here. Eh, okay, here we go. Big finale. Units, go. Begin the battle. I don't even know if people are in the right place. I should have checked. It's so awful to see the kingdom capital go up in flames. But at least we made it this far. We finally stand before the palace. These flames will kill our friends and foes alike. Those who stand in our way will perish with the flames. Immaculate one, your reign ends here and now. With fire raging all there over the is. city, our enemies won't be able to advance in large numbers. Instead, they may try to defeat us with small squads of elite warriors. Indeed. I suspect as much. And at their head is the one who stole my mother from me, and likely that mutinous whelp, Edelgard. What really makes me sad? Oh, oh shoot. Burning. Oh, this isn't good. I'm flammable, you know? Oh my god, Bernie. Impossible. We must be avoiding the flame and be careful of strong enemies. If we want to minimize our losses, we will need to be flexible in our approach. <laughs> That's not happening. Okay, uh... It really sucks! The only way to marry Sothis is if you do Rhea's run, which means you put down everyone else. So the only way to get Sothis is the, is the bad guy run. What's that about? Okay, so we gotta get the Catherine. She's all the way over there. Okay, Catherine, that's for Shimmer to kill. Where's Gilbert? Where's Gilbert? Where's Gilbert? Where's Gilbert? Is Gilbert not here? Oh, look at that! You don't get to kill your father, Annette! How lucky. How lucky is that, Annette? Why is there a treasure chest in the final battle? Why is there a treasure chest in the final battle? What good is treasure chest in the final battle? Hmm. All right. Oh god, the brave bow. Let's clean up. Ooh, who's got the brave bow? Do I have it? Someone has the brave bow. Whoever has the brave bow needs to give it to her. Who did I give the brave bow? Oh, Ferdinand has it. Yup. Okay, he's got to give it to her. Okay, so here's the play. Ah, uh, Gilbert. There he is. Okay. Gonna take a minute because Annette's not in the right position. She's not. She's not where she needs to be to kill her father. Okay. Shamir needs to go to the right. Annette needs to go left. Is that on fire? Yeah, that's on fire. All right, there we go. Dance. Okay. And that goes left. Each team needs at least two healers. So let's see here. Manuela and Dorothea will be the healers here. Linhart will be the, the healer over here. He's gonna warp her over. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Shamir, okay, it's two healers, two fighters over here. Should at least give them one more person. I'll give them Bernie. For all of us. The main force is going to be these six, and the side force will be those six. Okay. I'll cut a bloody path. Rally me, please. Thank, Thank you. you. There we go. I'm Have your wife next to you. Okay, there we go. All right. Ready for anything. Trade. Give her the brave bow. There we go. She's going to do work with that brave bow. There's no 
stopping me. Give defense. There we go. Appreciate it. Listen to that music. Okay. For the Empire. Apparently they're in range. What about this thing? Okay, no, okay. Oh, someone's dead. Hi! One hit! Bunk. Level 49! I'm stronger than Way way stronger than before, okay. Oh, she can't reach. Oh, they're hella dead. I'm sad that godly axe just looks lame. It's not a very good looking axe. Oh, they made a mistake going for Petra. Oh, she's got the armor slayer. Ooh, nice. That's a nice crit. Alright. Okay. Get everyone still in position here. Bernie's gonna go help. Uh, not exactly like that. Linhard comes. Casper comes. Bernie goes to assist. Annette. Six and six. Okay. That golem's gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, meanwhile, here's the team. Okay. Here's the power of the Brave Bow. Four shots coming out. One. Two. Three. Four. And that breaks the day that breaks the bow. Dale, sweet bow. Now here's where we make it better. Let her do it again. I'm good now. Shamir's my boss right now. She's just doing the work. Next brave bow coming up. Time for four more shots. One. Two. Just sieging it. She is sieging these golems. Pick up the final form now. There we go. Only got one form left now on that thing. Oh, she can silence. Good. Do it. The sound of silence. Oh, all this is fiery floor. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ferdinand. Gambit. Why would I do that? Okay. Kill him. One hit. I do not tolerate obstacles. Now here's the problem. Got hit at range. Oh, good. All right, do it. Whip. Whip. Almost out of shots, though. I should save the last ten for uh, Rhea. My turn. There we go. Open your hearts and accept your fate. Oh dear. The immaculate roar saves only the righteous. She is pissed. What? Her howl was unadulterated magic. I didn't know such a display of power was possible. So much dialogue in the game. Beep, beep, beep. What's it doing? That roar seems to have affected the doll's movements. Ah, crap. Whenever the Immaculate One howls, those dolls become stronger. So kill the Mace AP. Okay, I'll just kill it now then. Levin Sword. So much for that much HP. 98. Feel it! Ooh, 162. It's named Wilhelm, by the way. Why didn't it scream? Okay, so I gotta get these guys in position. Alright. 
rally. Freaking Linhard being so far away. Okay. Alright, just keep this force going forward. Rally me, thank you. Rally me. Set me free. Now the tricky part's getting around the fire floors. There's Bernie to help. Magic bow? Silver bow? Wow, magic doesn't do jack for these things, huh? Good thing she's here. Yeah, she's got it. Oh my god, she's gonna hella kill this. Look at this. Bam! 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 Triple shot. Sending their numbers. Nice. Damn, Shamir's the MVP right now. Strength is all for a mercenary. I don't know what happens when you give them the brave bow of all things. Okay, next turn this force will go. Oh, there's no way across without getting hurt. Mm. Alright. It is what it is though. Okay. We're gonna have to just get hurt to go across. Oh, there's another golem! Oh god, there's more golems! Didn't realize there were more golems. There's a crap ton more than I realized. How do I win this one? Defeat the enemy commander. Oh, just beat Rhea? Alright. Guess we're going for Rhea. Oh, this is the safer way through. I see. We're not going the safer way through. <laughs> we're breaking straight through. This is also another way to break through. I see. Okay. Alright. That'll help the team. Her gambit's what's going to get them through. Okay. The only problem is she won't be able to get through. Oh, I know what to do. Okay, first we do the gambit. Here we go. Thanks. And with that... The team cannot get through anyway, what? I really thought that- Well, I guess horses can't get through, but freaking Manuela can. Kill him with Balloon. Oh, they have a Tomahawk. Okay, but they have bad range, so maybe it will be okay. Yep. There we go. Manuela doing work! Being the queen. I want to change her outfit for this shoot. So the horses, they're just going to get hurt. There's no way to stop that. They're going to get hurt for two turns, maybe. Oh well. Heal them after. No, just go. The thing is, Annette needs to be the one who goes forward first, because she's going to fight her dad. Alright, this team's stuck where it is for now. Thank Next turn. Everyone stays where they are. Five? Ah, oh, crap. She's going to need help in a second. Yeah, there's the damage. He's almost loose. Oh yeah! Get a little spin! 93. Nice. Now for the tricky part, getting in and healing. No one's majorly hurt yet, so she doesn't need to heal yet. Here it is. You! Go kill your dad. <laughs> oh my god, here we go! You can do it! I can believe in you! Kill your father! 
Wow, that's a big level up. Oh wow, she will kill him. Oh god, here it is. Annette, I knew this day would come. Yes, and so did I, father. Be warned that I will push you aside, even if I must use force to do it. I understand. Goddess, this is surely a chastisement from you. Here's the thing, they're praying to the lady in me right now. Is he gonna land it or is he gonna miss? No, he landed. But he's done. Oh, she killed her dad. Majesty, I beg forgiveness. My promise to you. I could not. Killed by her own killed by his own daughter. Uh, she deserved a level up for that. She deserved a level up for that, everyone? Okay, so... Can't heal her. She's gonna get killed after this. She did her job, though. Killed her father. That's all I needed her to do. Alright. No, you're a bad person. Okay, here we go. Ah, great! Reinforcements! Good thing I got all my archers over there. They're gonna hit Hubert. Okay. Can can they stand in the fire and be okay? Oh, it's gonna hit. And she's not using healing attack. Ooh. I'll only slow you down. It's okay. You did your job, girl. You did your job. Oh, they're hella dead. Yeah, no words when she killed her father. By the way. I think I'd let you go. There we go. Not my go. All right. But a lot of crap to get through still. Oh, she's gonna keep buffing them. Ow. Oh, it's a chance of getting hurt. Doesn't mean you will. All right. All right. Oh, time to kill the air units. Actually, how far can she go? Right. Go, Bernie, go! Server bow, they're dead. Oh, dead! Ooh. One shot. Gotta train harder. Bro, it feels like, anyone else smell some beef cooking? Anyone? I'm liking that smell. Oh, wow. Almost kills. He's good. Iron bow. One. And a uh, dead. 120, nice. I got cocky. <laughs> you did. Perfection. Alright. Yeah, heal her. Get the team healed up. She's almost prepared to kill her wife. She's almost there. It's almost wife killing time. I'm so messed up. I that. Whoop. All right. Oh no, it's going for Manuela. Uh oh. All right. I hear he uses warps, right? Okay, that's a waste. That's a waste. Don't do it yet. Casper can't get free of the fire yet. She can. Banshee? Hella did. Woo! Guess I'll go heal her. There we go. No, I forgot! I could've gone to Anna and bought all those stat-ups. I forgot all about those stat-ups. Okay, they do get burned in the fire. You dare try? 
I can't wait to see Casper use those things. Uh oh. It spins around to throw it. Ooh. Oh no! Midheart! Okay, good. Woo. I got hit the second time. I don't have to heal him. Okay. First up, get Linhard the hell out of there. Heal Casper. Thanks for helping. I gotta heal Linhard. Sit there and heal. Rally her. Okay. Meanwhile, these guys. Okay, so... Ferdinand out. Brave bow. Oh, it can hit back from there? Oh, damn, it's got range. I guess she just has to hit it. This one's got range. Do it. And two. And two. And it shoots back. Oh, it landed. Oh, phew. This will be. Stay vigilant. Okay, she can combat arts. Good. Let's not use the silver bow for that. Let's use the silver bow for that. There's no other bow to use. The other ones are better. Whoop. Alright, my plan is simple. I screwed this up. Okay, Manuela right here. Heal her. She's good now. Okay. Dance. Would you like a dance? Appreciate it. Right, here we go. Time for the brave bow again. Let's clean up. Fire. One. Oh, missed. Oh, not missing this one. Woo! Crit. Nice. She could have one hit that. Now go over to the healing circle. There we go. That's the plan. Okay. Now what happens? They're getting hurt. Man, it's taking a lot of effort to go kill Catherine. Oh, they're hella dead. And bam. For her grand ambitions. Bolting again? Nope. Oh, there's the problem. Zero damage! Damn, what a waste! Ooh! This should... Uh-oh. Double throw on Bernie? Ah! It critted! It hurts. Let her pull back, Bernie. Dang it. Oh, get out of there, Bernie. Dang it. Oh, we lost Bernie. Bernie's not flammable. Oh, if that hit, he was done. Thankfully, he didn't get hit. Oh, boom! Nice, one, one, one. Her will demands it. What's that? That's oh, a heal crap. Okay, they have healers. Gotta kill them. We lost Bernie. Dang it. Okay. We lost Annette and we lost Bernie. Let's not lose anymore. Our Knuckles do no damage! There you go. Kill killer Knuckles. Do those instead. Yeah! Uh-huh! Uh-oh! Ooh! Uh-huh! Bam! That's one down! Two more to go! These guys got it. These guys got it. Then hard with the heal. What's restore again? Oh, status fix. Oh, yeah, he needs the heal. Unexpected. 
It's time for Hubert's wife to do a deck. Attacks. A deck. What can do the most damage? She can't crit it is the problem. How about uh, one of the Banes? Hey, yeah, Bane of Monsters. Alright, random shot it is, because she's not going to kill it. Break its armor. Damn it. Yeah, run it over. Uh-oh. Oh, that means we have to kill it now, then, huh? The shield's broken. He can get through now. There we go. Why does Bernie always go down so early? Why do the, the two best girls go down so early, right? Annette and Vern are both the sweetest girls and they're both out. I got it! Levin doesn't do jack! Oh, balls. Okay, 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 back up. Aimer does... Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we do. Yeah, do Aimer. We'll break the barrier open on this thing. Right there. Break the barrier. Critted! Ooh, Jesus! My queen! Okay, well, she's not dead yet. That's what's important. Oh, Levin Sword is ranged? Oh, this thing's dead. Boy? Oh, yeah, of course it's Levin Sword. It's a Lightning Sword. There. Now, it's risky, because right now we could lose Edelgard. Luckily, Manuel is right here with. Uh. No, no, not Manuela. Luckily, Dorothea is right here with physics. There you go. I'll return the pain. There we go. And luckily, she's here to finish it out. Here we go. Shamir! Done. Nice. Bravo doing work. Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. We're back here a second. <sighs> Keep going! We're climbing! That's what I was worried about, they're gonna target her. Oh, and they landing too. Ooh! She's alive though. Dang heal. There's no golems left to worry about. Not so bad now. Catcher's got it. Why is she using Armor Slayer? <laughs> Whoops! Thank God she missed. Wait, what? <laughs> fire meets water or fire makes water? I'm not sure what she just said. Fire makes water or fire meets water? I assume the, the better sounding one's the correct one, but I don't know. That is Petra. Kill the armored one. Meyer B. Done. What a bother. Tread carefully. Alright. Heal her. Oh, she still needs a lot of healing. Casper needs to block the enemy away. Yeah, they're focusing him now. Okay. They got a while to go before they can get in there. They'll just heal each other, I guess. I'll use the sound of silence, that'll be good. <laughs> now you can't do anything. Dance for Manuela so she can heal her. My Sif, I'm use water. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, nobody wins this fight. Unless he crits. Nope, didn't crit. Okay, here it is. It's time for her to kill her wife. She's in range. Oh, she's not gonna kill her. This is the Brave Bow. The Brave Bow is automatically four. What? 
Wow! Alright. Look at my hit chance, by the way. Dang. My hit chance is bad. Alright, we'll move her forward so she can get out of there. I always knew this day would come. What a coincidence. So did I. It seems that now we have no choice. We have nothing in common. Not our backgrounds, not our beliefs. Not the way we lived. Or the way we'll die. Wow. But you love her, right? Is that all? Ah, shit. Oh, we got a problem. <laughs> oh, we got a problem. Luckily, I have the power of time. I really want to go back. Yeah, we'll go back. Try that again later. We'll try that again later. Okay, let's do other things first. All right. Nobody has a bow on this side. Put me in there. All right, let's see. Casper's got to have a <laughs> no damage because it's a horse magic. All right, okay, not them, not them. Okay, Hubert. Now Hubert will kill this person instead. Yeah, kill the mage. There we go. For her grand ambitions. I will prevent. Hmm. Yeah, go and do it. Cutting get. Oh, he has anti horse. Where is it? Here it is. Excalibur. Anti air, cause it's wind. Bam. I'll do what it takes. Bam. Everyone like that one. Anti guard at the heel. What's my strategy? There we go. Okay. We're almost at her. We're almost there. Alright, let's try this again. Kill her this time, please. Hello, Kath. What we have <laughs> Do the conversation again. Is that all? No! <laughs> Stop missing! <laughs> Hi, Ninjax. Yeah, I just I already had Annette kill her dad, Ninjax. Now we're trying to have Shamir kill her wife. It's not going very well. Not going very well at all. I'm okay. Fighting. Yeah, I need you to kill your wife, please. I'm good now. <laughs> I am horrible for this. All right. Okay, that's a coin flip now. She'll land it. There we go. No crit. Ah. This means Catherine has a chance to hit back. Uh oh. Catherine's gonna have a chance to hit back. I don't want her to have the clap back. There's no stopping me. Catherine's gonna go for her? Aw oh, crap. We'll see what happens. Thanks. Catherine's going for Manuela. I will pour everything into this battle. My body, my soul. Thunderbrand rumbles, urging me on. I am the goddess's servant. You will taste my blade! You know, I wish I could kill her myself, but you know. Holy shit, 51! Ah! Oh damn! Can't afford to die here. None of us can. I right, we lost a healer, but we still got another healer. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. You would dare! Priest clip. I mean, priest clip. Please crit! Why am I getting Asianer? Ours and L's are getting mixed. Okay, there we go. Okay. 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 Get in position. Okay, just weaken her. Oh my god. Alright, don't do it. 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 Okay. Kill your wife, please. There we go. One. Bam! Right in the knee. Right in the knee. She's a guard now. Lady Rhea, my service ends here. It's been an honor. Give me your sword. <laughs> Yeah, she made her sword. Just face in the fire right there. Okay. Oh, oh, we did get it. Oh, keep it, keep, keep that, keep, give it to this, give it to this. Hold on. 
Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Why not let her use a sword? Yes. Power of physics. Thank you. All right, Dorothea now has a legendary sword of her own. Isn't that nice? We gotta go deal with Rhea. I don't know how this is gonna go. Poorly, probably. Sweet of you. Oh god, how the hell do we do this? How can I get- oh, there we go. There, this will get Cyril to attack. Only Cyril attacks. Gotta break these barriers down to get any easier. There we go. I can take some heat. There he is. Two damage? Jesus, man. Crit, please. Casper's in trouble. Ah, oh, freaking A, he missed. Oh, she's getting ready to strike. All right. I can't get to... Okay. Well, the only people who can kill Cyril are not in range of him. You were ready. Oh, yeah, the sword should go to Petra, huh? Yeah, get the sword to Petra. Okay, we have a problem here. Ray is about to pick my people apart. Appreciate. I can't reach Cyril. Just break this really quick. Okay. Shamir may as well help kill them, but let's do this. I want to see what's over here. Oh, steel bow, how convenient. Alright. Brennan will find out what's in there. Yeah, heal his ass. Jeez. I think. Alright. She can't re oh she might be able to if he gets out of the dang way. Does he have any weapon that can do some damage? Four zeros! Are you kidding me right now? What's his gambit? That's his gambit, eh? Do it! Do it! Did nothing, okay. This is so she can hit him. Uh, right here. Oh, jeez, she doesn't have enough damage! Or rain, or He's got high dodge! Oh, he hit it. She got hit. I mean, she hit him. There we go, forget it. Their turn. Here she comes! Oh, he's dead. So with this, can you just come out and chill her out? Jesus. So with this, baby, leading my heart. Did you gonna help out at all, I said there? Oh, he did. Oh, thank God. You wanna crit one of these times? Nope, okay. Oh, he's running! Well, I can't kill him, he's all the- Oh crap, here they come. Everyone's converging. Oh, they're hurt, but not dead. Looks like everything's coming our way now. Apparently once we engage Rhea, things go crazy. Tagging! Get rid of sword. Thunderbrand! Get that training sword, there we go. Gambit, go fast! Alright, there we go. And with that done, go kill Cyril, please. I know what to do. Be out of range of that golem, at least. There, that... Try again, over here. 
Nope. As long as he's not in range of the, of the golem, I'm good. That's too dang close. Come on. Right here. That'll hit zero. Zero's done. 16% chance of landing. There we go. Lady Rhea, thank you for everything. Yeah, you die. Okay. Never liked you. Never liked you, boy. Okay. I'll fight to the very end. Okay, here's a fight he can win. There we go. Thank God. Ooh. You're all going down. All right, time for having to take out a dragon. That's a win for everyone. I'm impressed. Okay, so you want to heal him? There we go. All right. I want to see what's in this thing out of curiosity. What's it do? What's a prayer ring do? Restores HP each turn? Oh, that's nice. If only. Okay. Alright, Brave Bow. Five damage? Ah, oh, crap. Alright. It is what it is. Go. That's 20 damage. That's not bad. Woo, thank God. She missed. She's probably getting mad about getting shot repeatedly. Petra coming in like a boss. Thunderbrand also does only five damage. <laughs> Jesus. What's the range on this thing? Oh, okay, not that much range. So she starts to get close. Yeah, okay. I need healers on them before they start attacking, maybe. Yeah, okay, before they start attacking, they need healers. Actually, hold on. Wow, yeah, Thunderbrand's her best chance. But don't attack yet. Gambit, 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 Gambit. Got your back. There we go. Here go. Yeah, it doesn't glow because she's not Catherine. She just hits hard with it. Hi there, and the person you hate. Also only five... Okay, everyone only does five damage, apparently. Well, this will heal me back. Log, what'd you say? Give her back. Give her back. Give back my mother. Hey, you gave her to me. Face. Oh yeah, I'm healing for nothing. Face. Am I gonna hit level 50 before the end of this? Now here's the hard part. Aimer. Jeez, I hit twice. Do it! So it's true. You don't value human life at all. Isn't that right, Immaculate One? Nonsense! Fools who do not accept their own sins are undeserving of salvation! You humans are the ones who betrayed. You betrayed me, and you betrayed my mother! I did not betray you or her. I never believed in you from the beginning. But so this is real! <laughs> Sophus is in my heart. Okay, ouch. Okay. Alright, so it turns out Rhea's not that strong in dragon form. Oh, crap. Strong enough to wreck Rinlin hard, though. Jeez. Alright, time to gang the dragon. Yeah, sure, the enemy forces are trying to come up on us, but still. What if there actually is another character you can give Catherine's sword to, right? That'd be crazy. Okay, I got it again. Got it. Okay, first up, shoot her some more. She won't crit. She's gonna get hurt pretty bad. Okay, someone else. Put me in there. See what he can do. Oh, nothing. That's what he can do. Jesus, he does no damage. All right. Do it. Bong bong. And she didn't land! Bong bong! Here we go. This is only her first form. There's gonna be more to be us to deal with. There you go, takes her out. Yep, 
There we go. Alright, uh, we're about to hit now. I gotta reset the Elgato. Okay. Alright. Real quick, let me reset the Elgato. Okay. Alright. Let's keep going. Alright, who's left? Oh, we gotta heal Lynn. Lynn's gotta not die, right? <laughs> Yeah, it is, bro. It actually is. Okay. Who can he physic? And uh, me, there we go, him. I now need her to heal him because she's the only other healer besides me. And I'm gonna go hit her too. Oh, hi there. Okay, six. I do more damage with my troops. My, that does 12. I mean, 18. You know, you think about it with the opening cutscene, she beat that guy without having to go dragon. She just straight up murdered his ass. She knifed him. Oh, crit! Ooh! Nice! Right, here we go. Two more forms. Did I say no books? Oh, she's gonna go explosion next for turn. Oh crap, I made a mistake sitting right here. Oh well, attack her anyway. She has 1% chance of hitting a shot on Petra. 1%. Not gonna land that. There we go. There we go. 40 Petra. Alright. This is it! Brave bow! What a waste. Do it! Pew! There we go. Final form! 45. This is it! Final form! Final Raya! Here comes the enemies. Oh, that's gonna hurt! Shit! Oh, damn. Okay, everyone died. You know how bad it would be if that did kill everyone? Ooh! Okay. Please take care of the rest. Okay, we lost Lynn, but it's okay. Okay. Alright. Oh, here's a problem. Here's a problem. She can't move the dance. Alright, so she better heal somebody. Kill her. Okay. Ah, right, here we go. Who gets the final blow? You gonna get over here and help? No, you're not? Okay. Alright. First shot going out. Break that shield. Break that barrier. One. Two. She has over 100 HP. There we go. She's got over 100 HP, people. Take a while to break through that. Okay, she broke. Crack the barrier. Meyer B. There it is. Break that barrier harder. Yeah, break that barrier. There we go. Oh, who's gonna get the final hit? I guess I should get the final hit. Alright. Punch the crap out of that spot. Nice, she didn't miss. My team's too fast. Ooh, that's not ideal. She can hit the weak spot with that, but... Mm. Devil Axe would just get her killed. Alright, fine. Aim her. Can you hit twice? Oh, jeez. Ah, damn! Petra's turn. Oh wow, Petra could win this or- oh. Oh wow! She has no chance of hitting Petra! Petra guaranteed wins the fight. But I should do the final blow, so... Um, none of these are gonna do it! Oh crap, okay well... Let's have Petra hit her without killing her. Without critting either. Let's do that. There we go. She might not crit. Oh my god, she crit! It's over! 
Oh! It ends. Petra's the final blow. I don't get to do it. She does. Because she critted. Done! Wow. And she levels up. That's game! I didn't get to do the final blow. She did. Yep, Shamir was definitely the MVP with the damage she was dealing. This is it! Humanity stands strong, and people reach out for each other. There's no need for gods. Rhea, your reign of tyranny is over. <sighs> the time has come. Then Petra shows up the cutscene and wins it. He's dead, it's over. <gasps> hey, we're dead. Oh, hey, we're dead. Wait, what? Did Raya put a freaking thing on our heart? Wait, does that mean Sophus is gone? She straight up stuck a, a freaking crest in the heart? <laughs> oh, we totally killed Dimitri. He's dead. Oh, yeah, Sophus is gone. We're not a god anymore? Okay, that's just weird. That's just weird. Just fade the black, that's the end. Alright! I guess right here. And there we go! That's the save for New Game Plus. Which we're not going to do, because we played the actual storyline. The rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fulvan. With the fall of Ferdiad, the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Church of Seros both vanished into the people's memories. Fodlan was finally one unified nation, under the rule of Emperor Edelgard and the Adrestian Empire. God, look at Hubert! Look at Edelgard. Embracing her newfound power, Edelgard Bagadine. could at last set about destroying Fodlan's entrenched system of nobility and rebuild a world free from the tyranny of crests and status. Yet, beneath the surface, an unseen and silent struggle began to take shape. From her seat of power, Edelgard could at last wage war on those who slither in the dark. I feel like that's DLC or something. So Sothis is gone. That sucks. The children of the goddess have been defeated at last. The shape of the world will be forever changed. So we just never gonna tell her the goddess was in us the whole time? Humanity is free now. The world is ours once again. Can you believe it? No. It isn't over yet. True. There is still much to be done. We can't ignore the possibility that our enemies will resurface one day. We kind of killed them. In the end, the fate of this world depends on the choices we make. 
I don't know what the future holds, but come what may, will you stay by my side? Nope, I'm gonna go marry Manuela. You chose to protect me at the Holy Tomb. Will you choose me again? What I'm trying to say is, I need you. Aww. Well, please accept this gift. Oh my god, here it is! You called me L. That's... I... That means more than I can say. And this ring... It's lovely. Thank you, my dearest friend. I will happily accept it. He's like, uh, uh, that was a wedding ring. <laughs> I must admit, I feared my feelings would be unrequited. Okay, so long as I had you by my side, it never mattered how many enemies I amassed. You were all I needed. That's sweet. All this time, I longed to share my feelings with you. And it seems you wished for the same. Yeah. Now, our wishes have come true. This feeling, it's overwhelming. I promise to always be there for you. Now, your burdens are mine to bear. <laughs> all mine. No, no, I promise to always be there for you. The other one sounds a little... I promise the same. Together we can achieve anything. We will crush those who slither in the dark and restore peace and order to Fodlan. I will then find a suitable successor and hand over the reins of the Empire. When what? all that is done, it will be just the two of us. I look forward to starting our life together in the light of a glorious new dawn. You're gonna make me king, right? That seems like a lifetime away. Let's make it happen. Yes, that is all we can do for now. We must remain focused on our goals. To think that I may truly call you my partner and equal now. Oh, we got the S rank portrait. So at this moment, you would get the portrait for whoever. And there you go. That's an interesting shot of her considering... Like, the, the nose straight on is so weird looking. Like, um, I've seen some of these. Oh my god, Dorothea's is nice. Uh, who's, what's her name? Hilda. Hilda's is a really nice one. I think that, it, okay, here we go. The solitary reign of Edelgard has come to an end. From now on, we walk this path together. Yeah, why isn't Hubert in the background? With time and care, the darkness shrouding this world will be lifted. You and I will become the light that shines over Fodlan, just as you have shined upon my life. Okay, think this is why you don't see straight on shots, usually. You always see a little bit to a side a little bit, because that just kind of does look weird, doesn't it? She doesn't look like Edelgard from the straight shot. Alright, we're going to get all the epilogues. Battle data! White Clouds Inevitable Encounter. Oh, how many turns it took? Oh, I took my sweet time in some of these battles. It's going to be mostly me as the MVP, of course. Not going to push any buttons. I don't want to accidentally skip. Bernadetta with an axe? When did that happen? Thief Petra. Edelgard. Like, I took my sweet time on purpose, so I'm not really going to care about turn times. Shamir. One of many MVPs. She does look like an owl. A lot of me being the MVP. Bernie got it a few times. A lot of me as the MVP, however. What if it's just only you as the MVP? <laughs> Five turn, six turn. Caspar got one? Wow. Lorenz got one? I forgot about that one. Another one of me. Oh, we're a god now. I was wondering if they're going to show the her difference. Raphael got one. Bernie got another. Ferdinand with one. Valgard Mock. I hear you. Now we're in the second half. The Queen gets one. Another one there. Bernie getting another one. Oh, yeah. Felix got one. What? Why, Scythia got one? Oh, nice. What? Leone got one? Holy crap. Born Land and Sky. Yeah, how did Lawrence get one? 
Alright, a bunch of me! And then Shamir just, just crushing it for the end there. Because I gave her the Brave Bow, so she was hitting four times every turn. Alright, that's it! Time for the epilogues? I tried to get as many A's and S talk ranks as I could. I tried. Alois, six battles, one victory. Family man. Once the long war against those who slither in the dark came to an end, Alois and his family moved to Remire Village and lived happily as, as farmers. It is said that from the moment he put down his sword and picked up a hoe, he never so much as thought about turning back. Picked up a hoe. Oh god, I gotta read this fast. Oh crap, Hanneman. 17 battles. Though Fallen had changed, Hanneman's goal remained unwavering to determine the workings of the crests and to do away with the inequality caused by them. To that end, his research resulted in magical tools that could even used even without the aid of crests. This proved yet another worthwhile discovery by the Father Christology. He's the Father Christology. Okay. Oh, they got together! Alright. Marianne returned home to a warm welcome from her adoptive father, who recognized her wisdom and skill and began to groom her as his successor. During that time, she had a chance for reunion with Ignatz, but persuaded his family to allow him to travel the world as an artist. Marianne wholeheartedly supported his work, and before long came to be enchanted not merely by the landscapes and portraits all of had he, he had made in his travels, but also by his character. The romance between artist and patron was considered unusual, but long after their wedding, the story of how they fell in love was immortalized in popular days. Plays, plays. Woo! Ah, the brother and sister. Once those who slither in the dark were finally defeated, Mercedes left home and opened a small orphanage in the Fergus region with her mother. After many years of kind service, raising children who had lost their families, she received a letter bearing familiar handwriting. Its author, a prisoner in Envar, expressed his sincerest well wishes to Mercedes and her family. Still more time passed until one day the man who wrote the letter paid her a visit. With joyful tears in her eyes, Mercedes smiled, took a meal in hand, and at last welcomed him home. 57 battles. 50 battles. They're married! As the head, as the new head of House Gloucester, Lawrence first works to restore his own territory, and then expanded his vision to include reforms for all Fodland. At the height of his storied political career, he announced his marriage to Manuela, who had established a small school, a new school for children in a small town. Seeing the beauty of Manuela's dream, Lorenz put all his resources toward building schools like Manuela's all over Fodland, providing education to scores of children who had been left helpless by the war. After many years of success and prosperity, a bronze statue of the couple was erected at the original school to honor their achievement. It stands to this day. Huh? Leonie and Shamir, 109 battles! Leonie assumed leadership of the mercenaries formerly led by Gerald. One day she was hired to protect a noble who had been warned of a bandit attack. The warning note listed all the noble's fall deeds and was signed with an image of a spider, which Leonie recognized. As she suspected, the one who came at, on the appointed day was none other than Shamir. Leonie was happy to break her contract on this occasion and even offered Shamir a position at her company. The result was the most famous mercenary group ever to exist, in Fothan. It is said that their flag bore the image of a spider and another vaguely arachnid creature. Ashen Ingrid, 99 battles. When Galatea territory was seized, uh, Ingrid argued strongly for the preservation of Sportus. Her request was granted and she was appointed a to rule, but because she had previously abandoned her noble house, she was not well accepted by the people at first. It was thanks to the help of Ash, who arrived to serve House Galatea, that she was able to soften the view uh, the people had toward her by restoring the territory and improving his agriculture. As Galatea's prosperity grew, so too did the love between Ingrid and Ash. Their wedding ceremony was intended to be a simple one, but lavish blessings from the citizen ceremony made it a lively event. Ah! 106 battles, 63 battles. The Linhard researched vigorously for a method by which to remove the crest from Lysithia and save her life. The war ended before he could reach any conclusions. Lysithia decided that she should return home to her parents, thanked Linhard, and took her leave of Garrick Mach. Not to be deterred, Linhard set his affairs in order, renounced his noble title, and followed Lysithia to Ordelia a territory to continue his research. Years later, his efforts bore fruit, and Lysithia's crest was successfully removed. With a new future ahead of her, Lysithia too renounced her noble claim, and the couple married as commoners, and it's said they raised a very happy family. Okay, real quick. There's only one other ending where Lysithia gets saved. Every other ending, it's she lived a happy short life with her husband, and then she dies. So, we picked the right guy. Back to it. The other one is Hanneman. 
Felix and Sylvain. Wonder battles, Isaac. Even after the war's end, uh, skirmishes continued to break out across Fothen. Learning that there were still places where he could fight, Felix abandoned his noble title and chose to make a living with his sword. Decades later, he reunited briefly with Sylvain, who had need of his service as as Mangrave Gatier. Felix departed as soon as the job was finished, however, and the two ne never met again. Years later, a sword was thought to have belonged to Felix, arrived at Sylvain's book's doorstep. Huh. 167 battles. In recognition of his achievements during the war, Caspar was given the title of Minister of Affairs, Military Affairs in the new Adrasian Empire. Though he was well known for his valor in battle, it was his wife, Annette, who reigned in his recklessness and who truly kept the army in order. The troops came to see Annette as a motherly figure, and under her guidance, the Imperial Army thrived. In their private life as a couple, the roles were totally reversed, as Caspar had to be the one to step in and correct Annette's various calamities around the house. So she was the top outside. Okay. 237 battles for Nedetta. When Bernadetta first inherited control of House of Arley, she had a way and would not dare involve herself in political or administrative affairs. During this time, it was Raphael who came to her aid, encouraging her to work through her fear of people. The training period was difficult, humiliating, according to the journals Bernadetta left behind, but in the end, it had its desired effect. The leader of House of Arley became an outgoing and authoritative individual, taking part in public policy. She even took on a very muscular husband. 134, 168, these two. Shortly after the war, Bridget renegotiated its diplomatic arrangement with the Justian Empire, ending its service as a vassal and becoming a full ally. As part of that agreement, Petra, Queen of Bridget, was wed to Hubert, Marquis Vestra. Some say that the marriage was purely political, ordered by Emperor Edelgard, while others insist that it was one of their own accord. Although they led busy lives and sometimes lived separately, still their shared home in Western Fodlin uh, village was filled with their many children, suggesting a loving union. Did you imagine those two would be banging enough to have multiple children? Did you imagine that at all? Yeah, Bernie's got a happy ending. By the way, if Raphael and Ignatz pair off at the end, uh, Ignatz falls in love with his sister, and then Raphael's sister and Ignatz get married. These two, 207 to 110 battles. How many dances? After officially becoming the new Duke Iyer, Ferdinand set uh, about reforming his territory. Thanks to the wisdom of his wife, Dorothea, Ferdinand's policies were of massive benefit to the common folk and brought about a swift recovery. In recognition of his achievement, he was called upon by Emperor Edelgard to reintroduce, to introduce those reforms to the Empire at large as the new Prime Minister. Though the work was ha kept him busy, he was always managed to find time for Dorothea. It's said that their children filled their house, their loving household with beautiful music ever, ever after. Here it is! 296, not 300! Scarf and Edelgard ended the tyranny of a godlike being. Scarf was wounded and lost the power of the progenitor god, but it mattered not, as he and Edelgard had each other. To ensure lasting peace, the two fought against those who slither in the dark, and to ensure a society where people can rise and fall by their own merits. They spent their lives reforming the antiquated class system. They achieved much in their time together, and it is said that they were sometimes spotted leaving the palace to privately enjoy the world they had created. How they spent those precious moments, none but the two of them will ever know. Wow! 192 victories, that's kills. My throat hurts. Ow. I wish you could click through them instead of... Bleh. I'm curious what the Sothis ending is, but you can only get that in the church. So I'm convinced Edelgard's route is the main route. Like, that's the main story route, because that's the only way to get the church route as well. Obviously, Cloud's route is in no way the main route. I feel like Dimitri's route is the what-if route. That's what it feels like. Dimitri's and Rhea's routes feel like the what-if routes, and Claude's is like, why the hell is this here? And then Edelgard's is the main one. Because there's too much stuff about Edelgard in this game. People's third favorite ending. <sighs> People really like Dimitri. They really, really, really like Dimitri. Because who doesn't like a broody boy? People love Dimitri. He's a very broody boy. Who does not like that? Who does not love a broody boy? I wouldn't be surprised if he's number one, because uh, people really like Dimitri. But I feel like Edelgard's story was the original story, and they're like, how do we branch this out to make multiple stories? That's what it felt like. Because there's too much around Edelgard. There's too much around her, and there's too much special stuff about her. <laughs> Dimitri's overrated. Mm. 
Oof. Dimitri is also what Japan likes a lot. That is a blonde white boy. Japan loves blonde whiteies. They really do. I will keep that wording. They love the blonde. Oof. I don't have any water. Oh, jeez. I'm well, sitting through the credits now. Oh, man, my throat shot. Okay, so that is it for Fire Emblem. Oh, my God. Uh, next LP is going to be... Uh, uh, Life is Strange 2 or Fallen Order, I think. One of those will be the next LP. I'm not sure. Fallen Order or Life is Strange 2? Maybe Life is Strange 2? I'm not sure. It'll, Life is Strange 2 will be a different pace. Yeah, I think I have a dehydration headache now. I talked so much in the last two hours. Didn't, didn't get any water. Mobby, Mobby, Mobby. That was fun. Uh, everyone's favorite character is Bernadetta, right? <laughs> I'm not surprised if it is Bernadetta, because Bernadetta is great. Um, I think the sweetest girls are Bernadetta and Annette. Yep, Bernie, Bernie, yep, everyone in chat saying Bernie. Mercedes is extremely sweet. By the way, in none of Mercedes' endings does she has a kid. Does she have a kid? There's no Annette. Uh, Annette Mercedes has no children in any of her endings, which is so unfortunate. Mercedes either uh, doesn't marry the dudes that she ends up with, or they just don't. She just doesn't want to have kids because she hates Crest, so she doesn't want to pass it on. Um, only with Hanneman and, and Linhard does, uh, does Lysithia get cured. The other one, she just lives a, sh a good life and then dies in, at a young age, which is depressing. Marianne and Bernie support would be amazing. I'm actually curious what the Bernie and Aloise ending is. I have no idea. I should look that one up. Uh, the Leone and Shamir ending is the only good ending. All the other Leone endings are her getting drunk all the time and getting in trouble and being an alcoholic for the most part. For her and Raphael, it's she gets really drunk and then has a big debt at Raphael's Inn so that she has to, pay, she has to work off the debt and then they get married eventually. <laughs> But Bernie and Byleth, her ending is she Bernadette becomes a fearless warrior? I want that ending. What? Oh. How? How? Erica Mendez, right? Ratana? That's the name that's her name? Oh, Xanthios Marianne? Oh wow, Xanthios Marianne, okay. Huh. I recognize these later names. Oh, Fletcher. Fletch. Pilardo? Who's Pilardo? Vladislava was cool and then she died. Loves Bernie. Erica Mendez is an amazing voice actress. I'm really liking her stuff. A lot of the animes I like, she's the main voice. I'm liking her in a lot of things. Uh, all right. Who is best boy? Everyone's probably got a different pick for this one. Who is best boy? And you can't say bye with. <laughs> Maybe Casper's best boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says Casper too. Oh, Pan likes Casper and favorite is Linhard. Oh, it's always subjective. Who is best boy subjectively? I know who worst boy is. Worst boy is easy. Worst boy is Lorenz. That's who it is. 
Does anyone have someone else's worst boy? Now who is worst girl? The answer is nobody. All the girls are great. <laughs> Ninjax hates Lorenz. There are no bad girls. Oh my god. It's... Okay, maybe Rhea, I guess, because Rhea's a little crazy. Yeah, if you do Church Rock, does, do you just resurrect Sothis and so Rhea doesn't want to murder you anymore? Is that what happens? I kept on to jokingly say in the LP, like, anyone got a weird boner right now with Rhea? When she's wanting to kill everyone? There's someone I follow who they just totally were heads over heels for Rhea right from the start. Like, ooh, hot pope. Oh, Cyril. No, yeah, Cyril's alright. We didn't get to do enough with Cyril to see. Oh, Cyril's totally a Palatana boy. So I looked it up after they, we got them out of the story. Uh, guess who... Um... What was the other best girl that we uh, we almost killed? But we were able to spare. What's her name? The fish. She likes fishing. The fish. What's her name? What's her- Flane! Flane! Flane and her father?! So Flane and her father, guess what? They're also dragons. Flane and her dad are also dragons. They've been around just as long as Saros has. You learn about that in the in the in the church route. That they're also dragons. Uh also her father is one of those statue people, and her mother either she is or her mother's Kathleen. I think her mother's Kathleen. So her mother's Kathleen, and then her father is one of the other statues. Or she's Kathleen, and then her father's one of the other statues. I can't remember right now. I read it like, I don't know, a week ago? Two weeks ago? By the way, all of her endings are the guy and her going fishing. Like, that's it. Oh, Tiki's hella old. I Maybe... They're just, they're, Flame's the youngest dragon, but she's still, like, as old as Rhea, like, she's a, she was around for Rhea and her dad, Sedith, doing things. I don't know if her mom was a dragon or a human. I can't remember. But they went into hiding because their mother died, so like, okay, we're gonna leave for a while, and then they come back and they help with the church. I kind of hate uh, the dragon race in Fire Emblem when it comes to just how creepy people can be, because uh, the dragons, for the most part, are usually pretty young looking. Honestly, I don't know what's the first instance of young looking old person. <laughs> it might be Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem has done young dr old dragons looking like kids for a very long time. They might not be the first one to do it. But they're around there. In one of the endings, if her dad's dead, uh, Flame just leaves and then comes back like a couple centuries later. And everyone's like, she looks just like the statue. <laughs> and they think she's a holy person. Only a little bit more, as far as I can tell. Yeah, we're almost done. Koei Tecmo. Really? Koei Tecmo co-developed? Wow. Didn't notice that. I think this would be a pretty good uh, Warriors game. If they do another uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, I think this would be a good one. They had it specifically one game instead of all of them. 
I think Fire Emblem Warriors has been the best iteration of the Warriors games lately, because they've done some pretty good ideas there. We're like telling people where to go and stuff, I like that. The end? Okay, what can I do? But yeah, what sucks is you don't learn anything about Sothis unless you do... Let's see here... I think that's where the choice is. Oh no, the choice was right here! Oops! I think the choice is right there. If I want the endings, okay, so we'll just go after it. Yeah, this is the New Game Plus data right here. Right here is New Game Plus data. If you go Church Route... There she is, sleeping again. If you go Church Route, you can S-rank Sothis and marry her. So you can, you can marry a goddess. But that means go church route, which means you have to go the villain route, basically. Which is pretty messed up. The kill everyone route. So in order to marry this little girl, you must kill everyone. So you must genocide route. <laughs> Besides the church. What's under extras? Wipe data? No! Oh, we can replay all our conversations? Oh my god, girl version. Conversate, there's S rank right there. Ah, uh, So who did we not? Okay, obviously not these two. We never got Ferdinand to A? Seriously? We had so many battles with him. Yeah, no surprise there. We didn't, well, obviously can't ask them unless you choose them with the ring. We didn't get Hilda at all, which is sad. So yeah, we couldn't get them to A because we did the choice. We didn't get Hanuman to A. We didn't get Aloise Day, we didn't do enough. Catherine left by then. You can't get Rhea going until you go church route. I would love it. $10 DLC, the everyone survives route. <laughs> you have to pay for it. But there's different ones here, huh? Okay. I didn't get all of her A's because I was trying to make sure that it was going to be an S with her in the end. Well, that's cool, you can replay the conversations. So if this only has one conversation with these characters, okay. Sure it says. I am curious about this one, because he has such a murder boner for male. Does he have a murder boner, or does he have a both boner? Or he only has one for them. Really? There's no serial and rail conversations, huh? Okay. We never got to see this conversation. Uh, Catherine and Shamir, their ending is they just go out and become, like, heroes. Adventurers. The most feared power couple ever. Uh, there's Leone and, and Felix route. Leone, Leone and Felix have the dumbest ending, where they end up, uh, with the war over, they just become circus performers. It's the weirdest ending. I still can't believe Claude can't gay it up. Like, I... Like, he's not gay. He's not just gay. He is pan. That's the boy who's banging everything. I cannot believe you can't S with him as a boy. I'm surprised by that. Because, by the way, the only S ranks. So, uh, don't, I haven't seen this. I, did, I haven't looked this one up. Totally probably not a gay ending. Uh, where is it? Gilbert and Aloise are just, uh... It's just Kamara. They're like brothers. And then Gilbert, I think, is just a uh, mentor relationship. And that's it. There's no one else you can S with as a boy. Oh, Linhard's is... I think, yeah, you can S with him. I actually have no idea what the S with Linhard is. I'm not sure. I forgot that's one you could do. As far as I know, this boy's ace is F. <laughs> did he have a, Did he have kids with Lysithia? I don't remember I read that. That's the thing you could make everyone pan in a game, why not? Um, But Byleth, gay, gay options. She gets Edelgard, she gets Dorothea. Oh, by the way, by the way, you can, you can gay couple Dorothea and Manuela, which is an interesting match. Uh, let's see here. 
What else can she? She can S Mercedes. Well, they don't have. They they just run an orphanage, I think. So you get a lot more S rank with girl options with Byleth, which I guess no surprise. S rank with Rhea. S rank with Silithus. I think it's going to buy Ajax. We're going to end it. Oh, we're going to end this in a second. Anything else? Let's see here. I, I didn't really check what the endings were for New Asian Claude, because obviously. Um, that's it, really. Bernie has some pretty interesting marriages. Like I, lo I looked up the endings we weren't gonna get before I did the I, I did this last episode. I was Casper treats her like a child. It's a very interesting marriage relationship. Like they have kids together, and he just treats her as one of their one of their kids. It's like what the hell, Casper? What's that about? What is that relationship? What is that relationship, sir? Hubert and her is an interesting one. Oh, Hubert and Dorothea can get married, and they just lead a spy ring. They have a spy ring together. Also, Hubert and, and Shamir have a spy ring together. Hubert and Fernand can have an ending together. Edelgarden Lysithia's ending is they just basically become sisters, and they're taking on the the they're taking on the Slither together. Yeah. A with Linhard. What do you want to put that one be? All right, that's enough. That's that's enough. Anything else people can look at themselves. Event gallery. Yeah, these are of course different glasses. I assume. White clouds. What? Oh, interesting. There's a flower. Goddess tower. Oh, a different character showing up there. Okay. Movie gallery. All the different characters having their cutscenes. Oh, yeah, the songs. Yeah, of course, the songs are missing because of the different characters. All right, so there. Delete. So there we go. That's it. That's the OP. We're done. Like I said, next one will be Life is Strange two or uh, Fallen Order, Star Wars. We'll see. That right there is the LP in the game. I have fun with you from watching. That's what's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time.